Hello and welcome to Trinity Stamps. Today we're taking a close-up look at the Lemon and Leaves stencil set. When you open up your stencil set, you're gonna wanna be careful and take note of the masks that are included for each of the lemons in this stencil. There are some small pieces. Some of them will fall out and some you'll want to press out of the stencil like I'm going to do here. I set all of mine aside and I'm gonna save them in a little baggie with my stencil, so I'll have them when I need them. There are four stencils in this set, one that has lemons, one that has branches, and two that have leaves. You can use these stencils in many different combinations. You can do just leaves and branches. You can do the lemon and the leaves and the branches or any combination of these two. Now there is some writing at the bottom and you can feel that's kind of raised up. I always make sure that is face up when I am stenciling. There's also etched lines in each of the stencil so you know what it lines up with. And whatever's etched into that stencil, you wanna use that before you use the one you're holding. So the lemons have some leaves etched in it. So I am actually gonna start stenciling with my lemons and use some yellow ink to do that, but it's lots of fun to do different colors with these as well. So I'm using a really light yellow color, a bright yellow color, and a blending brush to go over each of these and add color in a circular motion. And when that's all done, you can see how gorgeous and bright these are. But I wanted to add some dimension to this with the addition of darker ink. So I'm bringing in a little bit darker ink, a smaller blending brush and adding color just to one side. And then I brought in a third color that's even darker, more of a golden color, and adding even more shading to that left side to really give these lemons some life. And now let's take a look at what they look like when they're all finished. So cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the uh, stencil that has the lemons etched into it and I'm going to stencil on the leaves. I'm using olive ink and then I'm gonna bring in a darker color. Um, I believe this is moss and add some darker color to parts of the leaves. Now you could use any ink that you have on hand that you have the right colors of with these stencils. So there's the first layer. Now here you could add in the branches next and be done. This stencil right here isn't necessarily made to go with the lemons, but I wanted to show you all four of the stencils used together and that it's okay to layer this on. Now these leaves are going to cover up or go on top of the lemons. I really liked the full look that it gave. Now I used two shades of green for these leaves that are two shades lighter than the ones I already used. So I have a lot of variation, which is gonna give this a lot of depth. So now I'm lining up the branches and there are etched leaves in this stencil. So I can line it up with leaves I've already stenciled and I know then that the branches are gonna line up because some of the ends of these branches will end at a leaf or at a lemon. So it is a good idea to use those etched lines and line this up. So there it is with the branches. I just think this is like a work of art. These stencils are so beautiful. I love it. So now we're gonna take a look at stenciling with these to make a, just a tree background, a leafy branch background. So I'm gonna do the leaves just as I did before um, where I have two colors of green so that I can add some dimension to those leaves just by adding a little shadowing. So there's my first layer of leaves and then I'll bring in the second leaf stencil and I can easily line that up with the etched lines on this stencil so everything's going to be placed where it's supposed to be placed and everything will line up. So now I'm using two darker shades of green for this second layer and giving those some shadows. And here's what it looks like so far. The last step is to add in the branches. So you can make a really cool and beautiful background with these stencils that don't use the lemons at all. And look at this. 
it's beautiful too. I love it. And you could do this and change it up so you had some fall colors and make cards for fall as well. Okay, so here is the card I made with the first background with the lemons. And here's another one that doesn't use both leaf stencils. Here's one that uses just the leaves and the branches. Here's one that uses just the leaves and a little lemons here and there. Here's some with Distress Oxide ink on some craft card stock. And here's some that is um, with a lot of splatter. I just love all the different looks you can get with this stencil. You can find even more inspiration from Trinity Stamps on our Instagram page and Facebook as well. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.